Farm Basics is brought to you by the Liberty Link Trait and Ignite Herbicide from Bayer. The most reliable weed management solution, Liberty Link and Ignite are the link to efficient row crop production and sustainable weed management. During our Farm Basics time today, we're going to talk about one of the very first biotech products ever in corn, BT corn. What is it exactly and how does it work? Well, it was a total game changer, Brian. When we got BT corn for the first time, I remember it was NK4640 and wow, was that a hybrid because it had this BT protein in it that corn borers couldn't digest. So when a corn borer would take a bite of that corn, it couldn't digest that protein and it would die yet it was a protein that really didn't have any effect on humans or on livestock. So it was a great thing. The livestock could graze the stalks and it'd be no issue at all. As humans, we could eat that corn if we wanted to, although field corn, we don't really eat anyway. So it was a great deal. So BT stands for Bacillus thuringiensis. And when you say Bacillus thuringiensis, immediately people are gonna start getting really concerned. Oh no, biotech, you're inserting something foreign into the corn plant and oh, this isn't good. Well, let's keep in mind, all this is, all we're talking about here is a protein. That's it, it's a protein that humans, livestock, they can digest it just fine. It's no problem. It's just for certain insects like European corn borer that can't digest it. It basically rots out their stomach and they die. I think that was very important though. You said certain insects and this is yes. the thing that's really cool about this. When we talk about using insecticides in our fields, for the most part we're talking about non-specific bug killer. So they'll kill every bug out in the field or just about every bug out there. Well, that's fine if you've got a really bad problem with corn borers. You spray these insecticides out there and you kill all the bugs in the field. But what about the good ones? Say, wow, I've got to kill any that may be a beneficial bug as well as the bad ones. The cool thing about BT corn is it isn't something that's on the outside of the corn plant that's going to kill every bug. It's inside. So only the bugs that feed on the corn are the ones that are going to get killed. And this specific protein mainly just works on corn borers, which at one time were the biggest insect problem in corn. So if you wipe out just the bug that chews into the corn plant, that's fantastic. Now the other thing that companies have been able to do is take traits like this BT corn and make the BT just expressed in the stalk or just expressed in the ear or just expressed in the leaves. They can control where that protein is made in the plant and at what levels. So it's kind of a cool technology to make things safer for humans, safer for beneficial insects and for animals. So just to give you a little story about that, it's been over 20 years ago when I used to be out scouting fields for corn borer and everything, there were some farmers who instead of using safer products like the BT, because there were products like Dipel that contained the BT that they could spray on the field, there were other products like Pounce that we had that it's made the, from the poison from the chrysanthemum flower. It's relatively safe to everybody. Now, don't get me wrong. I mean, these products, you still want to use your head and everything, but they're relatively safe. Okay, then there were some people who were using parathion. They'd have a plane come by and spray parathion. And I'm telling you what, it killed every living thing in the field. Okay, so your choice was either use parathion or like when the BT corn first came out, you could use BT corn. Well, what would you rather do? Use something that's perfectly safe for humans, livestock, everything, most insects, birds, safer, just about everything. Or you could use parathion that's gonna kill everything. So you can see why parathion now is banned in the United States, yet the use of BT corn products continues to increase. It's a much, much, much safer alternative. It really helps expand, basically increase yields because we don't have these corn borer issues like we used to. It supplies more food for the overall food chain. It's a great thing having BT corn and having biotech. And it just boggles my mind how we have all these people that are saying negative things about biotech. When I look at it as a farmer, and as somebody who lives right here in the land, and I say, well, you know what? This is way safer than all the things we used to use to control that same pest. Now we're getting higher yields and we're doing it safely. Well, things like BT corn work great at controlling specific insects. If we only had something like that for weeds like our Weed of the Week. Can you identify this week's weed?